So the first thing you've got to know is that YouTube Music is now available for the Galaxy Watch 4. And so just like Spotify, you can now download your YouTube Music on your watch, connect your pair of wireless earphones and listen to music without having your phone around. And if you've been a YouTube Music user, you can download your songs from your playlists or your liked songs. So you've got your songs on your watch now. Of course, you're gonna have to download this from the Play Store. So onto your watch, go to Play Store and then search for YouTube Music and then you'll get that result. Just install the app and you're good. I mean, Spotify has been on the watch for quite some time. And if you've been waiting for YouTube music, it's here now. Next, Samsung has also added quite a bunch of watch faces with a lot more customization possible. And really the goal here is that depending on the color of the straps and what you're mixing and matching with what you're wearing, you can set up colors of the watch face accordingly. So if you go into customize, you will now see a whole bunch of color options available. So if you go into color, just look at the number of options available for you. Also, if you go into your watch face gallery, you'll be able to see something called as live wallpapers. This was introduced with the Galaxy S22 series. And once you do set it, you can tap on the live wallpaper and it'll keep changing into different styles. Next, with this update, your watch can also measure your oxygen intake during an exercise. It's called VO2 Max. And to test it out, I actually went for a pseudo run and got a score of 43.6, which apparently is fair. But you've got to enable this. So go into your exercise gallery and then let's go to running, click on settings and then go into workout screen. Then choose any of the data screens and go down and tap on any of the values that you don't need. So let's say I don't require cadence and I can swap that for percent VO2 max and that's it. Now when I'm running the workout screen, the second workout screen will show VO2 max to me instead of cadence. But remember to start VO2 max measurement, you must walk for 10 minutes at a speed of four kilometers per hour on a flat surface and that's it. And guys, before we move on, if you're finding any of this useful, it would mean a lot to me if you could show some support for the channel. And all you got to do is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. That's it. All right, now let's move on. All right, next, the Galaxy Watch 4 can now measure heart rate recovery after an exercise. So if you continue to wear your watch after your exercise, then it would continue to monitor your heart rate for the next two minutes and it will show you how long it took for your heart rate to come down. The faster it comes down to a stable value, the more healthy your heart is. Oh, and now with your watch 4, you can measure how much sweat you lost, literally in milliliters. So after an exercise, although I did not have that enabled, but I did scroll down and I saw that if you did run for uh, 2.5 kilometers at five kilometers an hour, it would start tracking how much sweat you lost. Next, if you've been having issues falling asleep, Samsung has introduced something called as Sleep Coach on its Samsung Health app. And if you've been tracking your sleep with the Galaxy Watch 4, then it already has some data on your sleep. And then it'll give you the option to get coaching with your Galaxy Watch. When you tap on it, it's going to ask you two more questions. And basis the responses to those questions and the sleep data that's already there, it would associate you to an animal symbol. And these animal symbols are nothing more than just profiles based on various sleep patterns. And basis that to improve your sleep, it would give you a four week long program that you can just go through. And if you think you can adopt that to your lifestyle, start with get coaching. It's pretty simple. It gives you a calendar and every day you have to do something that it tells you. And once you do say mission completed and then you'll get the next day's mission. And just to give you an idea, these are the eight profiles or the eight animal symbols. It would be fun to see what you guys get as your animal symbol. So let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so now we know that the Galaxy Watch 4 can measure body composition, but with the update, you can set a target that you'd like to achieve with regards to your body composition. Now, because I was already playing with it, I could go ahead and click on set new target and I can set up a weight target, a body fat target and a skeletal muscle target. And once I have those set up, I can also enable to get reminder notifications. And so on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 a.m. I'll get tips on how I can achieve my body composition target. Next, if you are into running or cycling, you can now set up interval training on your Galaxy Watch 4. So go into your exercise gallery, then go into running, click on settings, and then go into target, and then scroll all the way down to interval. 
So for example, for running, I can set up my first workout to be a two kilometer run, or I could set up a time if I want to. And then my second workout would be a kilometer run. So a total of three kilometers and then a recovery gap of let's say five minutes, that's good. And I can repeat that two, three or four times, definitely not 10 times. But yeah, I can set up an interval training for myself now. And lastly, Samsung added an accessibility feature for those who prefer wearing their watches on the right hand. So if you go into general, go into orientation, you'll now be able to decide which wrist you want to wear your watch on. And accordingly, you can change the functions. So you could say right or left, and basis that it will also interchange the buttons. And to make this work, you basically interchange the straps turn the watch around and then place it onto your right hand so that the buttons are on the left and the functions would have been interchanged as well. And I'm actually very pleasantly surprised that Samsung has paid attention to such meticulous detail that a user may have preference towards which wrist they wear their watch on. I think that's what sets a few products apart from the others. Now guys, these are not the only updates that came to the Galaxy Watch 4 and to the wearable app. There are quite a few others, but I just wanted to talk about those that made more sense to me personally. So yeah, there are quite a few others out there. Uh, you could go through the change log uh, and see which ones really make more sense for you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, guys, if this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.